Uh, it's a horrible kind of day. Not, not great at all, but not terrible. Alright, welcome back to my little vlog of my DIY battery build. I have finally got all of my bits and pieces together, I think. So, starting with the lovely Fogstar 280 ampere hour EVE grade B cells. And then we will work up to the obligatory, I've already had a go at doing the balance leads on one of them and so the obligatory JK BMS there in all its glory um, so from the, the BMS we will go to I'll go down to the floor for this one I two hands Has it gone a portrait? Go back. Go back. Thank you. Oh, you. Ah. No, no, no. Oh, hold the line caller. Sorry if I'm making you feel seasick. <laughs> Need two hands for this. Right, so here we go. Nice, big, chunky. Nice big chunky 250 amp breaker. Yeah, can't do it one ended. There she goes. Ka chunk. So nice, quick, strong breaking action. Um, don't know how to pronounce the name. So. Yep, BMS and battery into that because obviously it's dual pole. Um, I think it's a surface mount jobby and going from the back axis. So from there, have I opened this one? No. Oh. Which one did I open? This one, the red one. So there we have my boss bar. Z. Um, so they are rated for six hundred amps. Uh, and it's got eight M10 terminals and some up the arse of it so there's some that side and the some of that side so there's plenty of options for connecting batteries and inverters and wind turbine charge controllers and all that jazz um, <coughs> excuse me I went for these big ones because there's safety in numbers and it's actually it'll be 600 amps divided by the amount of terminals there are so to get the 200 amps that that thing would be sucking on at max power um, I had no real option but to go for a big boy so it's reassuringly heavy nice big chunky fucking chunk chunky 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 So that's into that, and I've got a comically oversized Blue C uh, main kill switch for the inverter. And I'm running out of time, so I'm going to do another video. I'm not open this one up quick. Uh, this one is rated for 350 amps. Uh, so yeah, this one is rated for 350 amps. 
don't know if you can see it just there. This one's actually cheaper than a 200 amp switch. Um, so again, safety in numbers. Nice, big, beefy red thing. And it's probably gonna go somewhere around there, up to the inverter. And we'll join it all together. with some 35 square millimeter oh, 35 square millimeter tinned tinned copper uh, silicon insulation um, so it's rated for stupid amounts of amps and 200 degrees centigrade in temperature without going woof um, which is better than the PVC coated automotive jump leads. Again, these are 35 mil, but they're only PVC coated. Still a good way of getting cheap copper, but the PVC coating uh, has not got the heat resistance of the silicon. And, and that's about it. I've got a bag of ring lugs somewhere. What have I done with them? I've got a bag of ring lugs somewhere of various different sizes. Hold the line. Alrighty, here we go. Just a few ring terminals to play with. Um, only thing I'm not quite sure of is I was hoping that the distance of, I call it the shank, I was hoping that that would be a bit longer so that I could get a double crimp on it. Um, so I'm not really comfortable if that will focus. Yeah, I'm not really comfortable with the depth of, of that shank um, to get the cable in, to get a nice contact area and a double crimp so I'll have a little play with these and swing from the rafters on it see just how how good a crimp I can get or I'll just send them back and I'll have to do some more shopping on the old internet so so there you go I've probably got too many and hopefully with my drawing that I did the other day, I've got probably too many of some sizes and just enough of other sizes. So now we will be giving everything the old Mark I eyeball uh, because I'm a little tight for space for everything around here. So I might do a dividing wall on here or a gear tray but then things will collect dust so i think the next video will be musings of a madman and cardboard cut out templates um that i should be drawing on because there's yeah not an awful lot of room for things uh, i have got in the manual it said about having minimum clearances all the way around the inverter for ventilation um, it doesn't really get hot on the top the sides draw air so that's probably quite important and the bottom blows air so i can probably i don't really want to uh, but i can probably shift the inverter up and those switches up a little bit um, to give us a bit more space for oops, space for things like the bus bar. Well, that's cool. The, the the studs takes it out past the stud takes it out past clear any of the metal frame of all the shelving. So that's quite good. So they, the bus bars could go right down tight against there. 
uh, but there's a, still only like a hands a hands breadth between the top of the cells and the top of there so I might have cocked up a little bit but there's no fucking surprise there I definitely think that the bus bars should go there because then put you down sorry about the wibbly wobbly no you're not going to sit there are you it's spongy so yeah bus bars there cable off switch up to the inverter uh, and same for the negative because eventually <coughs> eventually like this side of things there's going to be an ac coupled inverter to take whatever the house whatever is spare coming off of the house that's grid tied so that all needs to go bus bars bus bars bus bars but i think the dividing wall with the dividing wall with just rough eyeballs you know um bms bms up into the breaker maybe there bms breaker under the wall uh, it's going to be quite a quite ugly uh, there's going to be quite a bit of swearing I think um, mm, lots of beard scratching well one thing I need to give well it's my very very next job very first job is and one thing that I need to give consideration to because it affects layout of electrical components is is do I have an air gap it's gonna go gloomy because the lights crap sorry um, do I have an air gap in between the cells um, or do I have the cells close tight together because if I have the cells close tight together I need to cut and shut a bus bar but also in its current current orientation is the end clamps for the compression fixture, I am in the compression camp, um, but I don't know the exact science of how to achieve the 300 kilogram force, so it'll be more of a just a don't fucking move fixture. I'm not going to squeeze them to death, wouldn't really take the piss, but I'll have end plates. So do I go for, I've got six studs for each battery pack, M10, m10 rods um so do i go to the side two in the middle two at the end or just squeeze the two lock together and have three at one side three at one side i'm leaning towards this um being very 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 careful so yeah, I'll have a stud running through there, plenty of room and a nice air gap. Do -do -do -do. Get that to fuck out the way. So yeah, there's plenty of clearance to do that and there'll be a bit of an air gap to allow things to breathe a little and and, uh, and stuff. So um yeah the next job will be knock up some cardboard templates for the end clamps giving it the old mark one eyeball and we'll go from there i'll leave that for another video because this will always this has already been me waffling now for best part of a quarter of an hour and you've all got lives to go and get on with and i've got stuff to go and get on with um so that's the state of play at the moment is to somehow make all of this work with all of that and remain sane well, well thanks very much for now um got some head scratching to do and some umming and ahhing uh, and we'll go from there like comment subscribe if you think you've got any ideas some of the subscribers so far have come up with some good ideas and stuff so as andy says it's a good little community People have got loads of ideas and solutions for things that are doing crazy things or that might have gone pop. Oh yeah, talking of things that have gone pop. 
I've had to get another power supply because the other one it's it's kaput. I need to do a why did it die video for things that I've killed so far, which would be the power supply, the um, Sun Mart generic five kilowatt grey box inverter shite. And yeah, there's another couple of cheap shit AliExpress charge controllers, you know, the ones that are dirt cheaper, 10 quid, 12 and, 12 and 24 volt ones. Um, so hopefully my days of blowing things up are long behind me. Probably not. <sighs> right, take care of yourselves. Bye bye for now.